Hey guys, hope you are doing well and you had a fantastic weekend and nice to see that the crypto market is back in green and maybe we will close a nice green weekly candle. My name is Mike Denkler from CoreMX and I'm bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin, NFT, DeFi gems every day to keep you updated and educated. I should state that nothing in this video can be considered as a financial investment advice, so everything just for your education and entertainment purposes only. So always do your own research and make your decisions based on your research. So guys, smash those like, push the bell, notification or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Smashing those like is important for the YouTube algorithm. So let's get into and let's see what's happening out there. Bitcoin is up 3.3%, Ethereum up 4%, uh, Bitcoin traded about 30,000 US dollar and Ethereum 2,000 US dollar. And as you see, yes, Luna is r r really volatile. Most of exchanges are, are uh, just uh, allowing trading Luna and, and people are going crazy. They are buying, selling. So I, I think uh, uh, be cautious if you are trading Luna, but at least other altcoins are doing well, especially Arweave, GMT, Kava, Osmosis and Cardano. So great to see some greenness. Let's go and check out our favorite indicator, the Crypto Fear Index. It is at 10. So we are in the deep extreme fear now and also yesterday it was 9 and below 25 the index is uh, showing extreme fear out there and you see we are in fear since uh, November last year and also this fear is going deeper and, and getting harder and when investors are too worried that could be a good buying opportunity but uh, guys just remember when the price can even go lower from here so the dollar cost averaging maybe is uh, one of the best strategies out there and when investors are getting too greedy, the, that means the market is due for correction. So greediness, yes, some, 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 someday it will uh, come back, but not for now. So I think buying these levels and also with this year uh, is that I also prefer to do. So let's go and check our first news: Terra Luna trading volume surge 200% as market adjusts to that spiral. So Luna momentarily gained 600% in value. Okay. So almost it went to zero, but from zero uh, started to coming back. Okay. Terraform Labs and co-founder Do Kwon sought uh, damage control on the same day as he proposed a revival plan for Terra's comeback, which involves compensating UST and Luna holders for holding the token during the crash. So both UST and Luna holders, but I don't know what is the compensation will be. So Luna momentarily gained 600% on May 14th. Okay. So actually it went, yeah, so it went to zero, almost to zero. And the trading volume is back and ranging between 5 billion to 16 billion US dollar. <clears throat> Binance represents 68% uh, Luna's trading volume, followed by KuCoin 9.5% and FTX 1.2%. Okay, also there was an inter internal error at crypto.com and that caused the system display incorrect prices, which led the numerous investors cashing in 30-40% profits. <laughs> so uh, congratulations if you traded on uh, crypto.com. Okay. The company has offered 10 US dollar worth of in-house token CRO as a good gesture to affected investors. Cool. Let's go and check our next news. Investing legend Mark Mobius issues, issues warning to crypto investors details dire price targets for Bitcoin. So Mark Mobius, he predicted the previous financial crisis in, back in 28. So I don't know how familiar is he with crypto, but let's see what is he predicting. So 
He notes there could be a slight upswing after Bitcoin drops to the uh, 20,000 US dollar mark before it once again resumes its plummet to 10,000. Buying the dip will not work this time until Bitcoin hit, hits 20,000 from where there might be a bounce but the next target will be 10,000. So guys, even for the long term, I think 30,000, uh, 20,000 and 10,000 is a good uh, buying zone for me for dollar cost averaging. Okay. <clears throat> so, previously Mobius had warned traders that crypto assets are not investments or good hedges against inflation. Instead, preferring stocks as a means to counter the, the devaluation of fiat currency. Furthermore, the veteran investors referred to Bitcoin as digital asset as a religion. Yeah, so it's kind of religion. Stocks definitely are the answer because the devaluation of currencies is not going to go away, which means inflation is going to continue at a high rate going forward. Don't forget the US money supply has gone up by over 30%. The Bitcoin situation and the cryptocurrency situation is religion. It's not an investment, it's a religion. They believe in it. People think they are getting richer and that's fine as long as the music continues to play. So <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with this. Also, you should be open and, and listen to other opinions. But I feel that maybe Mark Mobius is not so familiar with crypto and with the technology. He's a kind of um, Warren Buffett uh, type of uh, guy. Maybe, maybe I don't know how old is he, but uh, yeah, okay. So let's see, I, I will be happy in my religion if uh, we will uh, see Bitcoin back to 20 or 10,000 US dollars because then definitely is a good buying level for me. And next, Bitcoin no longer a rat poison. Warren Buffett packed new bank unreal crypto trading. So the investor veteran Warren Buffett doesn't like Bitcoin. Let's quote from him. If you had every Bitcoin in the world and offered it to me for 25 US dollar, I wouldn't accept it, Buffett stated. Because I would have no use for it, I will have to sell it back to you in some ca capacity. It isn't going to do anything. And also he called it uh, rat poison squared and cautions investors again investing in it. And let's see, a change of heart. So, new bank. Nubank, one of the world's largest digital banking platforms, backed by, surprise, the oracle of Omama himself, Mr. Buffett, has launched cryptocurrency trading. So, <coughs> Warren Buffett's in, in, uh, bank, Nubank, is offering cryptocurrency trading. The bank claimed that its uh, uh, 54 million users may purchase, hold, and trade digital assets from the same app without having to register new accounts and they are operating in Colombia, Brazil, Mexico. In addition, they have begun offering the cryptocurrency trading service in Brazil. Cool. Full Bitcoin access. So also they are getting full Bitcoin access and uh, trade Bitcoin. They are offering more crypto alternatives in the future. They intend to educate customers and crypto through a variety of sites. Nubank is a so-called neobank. New Invest is investing division of crypto-friendly digital bank, allows users to invest in Bitcoin exchange traded fund, giving them access to financial sector, sector that Berkshire leaders have shown little interest in. Okay, and Paxos is um, uh, supplying the service to them. Cool. Buffett has opposed Bitcoin for a long time. In 2018, he told CNBC, that they will come to a disaster end and the Berkshire Hathaway would never own a stock in them. Okay, so he's not owning a stock directly in Bitcoin, but he's owning a stock in a bank uh, which is offering cryptocurrency services. Next piece of news is Bitcoin and Ethereum will outperform stocks as risk asset prices crash says Bloomberg Strategies, here is why. So Mike McGlone, and let's quote, uh, the key thing to remember if the stock market keeps going down, which is likely because of uh, the Fed needs it to go down and reduce inflation, Bitcoin and Ethereum will go down, but they will come out ahead. 
Okay, so interesting because Mark Rebus told that the stock prices will be going up because the inflation and these um, <coughs> Mike McLuhan is saying that the stock prices will be going down. Overall, the volatility of these NAS and crypto assets, most notably Bitcoin, has continued to decline versus the stock market. That's what's happened with Amazon when it first came out. Its volatility in 28, uh, 29 was the same as Bitcoin right now. We will look into it. And also investors are looking forward to the future. Do you really want to miss out of this revolution? That is what I see happening. A little bit of selling offers in the stock market and bits below in things like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Mike McLuhan notes that despite BTC losing the 30,000 US dollar level, it's not the only asset class in decline. It's going down with the ebbing tide or with all risk assets. What's happened to the S&P 500 this week? It's finally got below 4,000 for a while. And both Bitcoin and the S&P came back to the 100 week moving averages. The asset that went up most over the past five years, uh, 10 years is going to come back as the Fed hammers the punch ball. It's more likely to come out ahead. And also he's talking about Ethereum. So yes, if the stock prices will uh, crashing, uh, crypto can crash further, but uh, they will bounce before the stocks and uh, heavier. Crypto capitalist Ardor Hayes forecast dramatic new lows for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So some bearish predictions. Arthur Hayes, he will be a buyer of BTC at uh, 20,000 US dollar and Ethereum at 1,300. These levels roughly correspond to the all-time highs of each asset during the 2017-18 bull market. Any service offering about average yields that it's uh, believed to uh, have an exposure to this melodrama will experience swift outflows. And given that most people never read how any of these protocols actually work in distress scenarios, it will be a sell first, read later exercise. This will continue to wait on all crypto assets as all investors lose confidence and would rather suck their thumb, clutch their safety blanket and hold fiat cash. The crypto capital market must be allowed time to heal after the blood, blood letting concludes. If anything, I'm evaluating the various altcoins I own and increasing exposure. So, okay, so this is the takeaway. So he is increasing exposure. So, cool. Yeah, sometimes we need this bearish outlook. Mm. <clears throat> More than 30 million US dollar in Bitcoin abruptly moves after lying in deep freeze since 2013. So that was this uh, Bitcoins, uh, almost 1000 uh, Bitcoin that moved uh, last time in November 2013 and uh, they moved. One address received 2000 BTC and another over 100 BTC. But guys, but nothing wrong with this. Maybe this is a uh, just this was a dormant wallet and now sending out mm, Bitcoin. And maybe they are changing or they are doing something with it. But it's, it doesn't mean that they are sending to exchanges and uh, they are going to dump. So this is how with these whale alerts. <coughs> sometimes uh, just they want you to panicking and panic selling so guys let's go and check um, twitter what's happening out there definitely follow me at mikls dankler also follow at corion platform and follow our uh, laser punk gods uh, project that uh, you find where you find here so laser punk underscore gods Cool, guys, so let's check what's happening here. Okay, learn how to overcome the fear and greed emotions making you an experienced Bitcoin hodler. So 65% of uh, Bitcoin hodlers are, are uh, holding plus one year. So plus one year, so that uh, those Bitcoins haven't moved since one year and it's increasing 
65% uh, and even if the price is dropping. Give a like and share. So Bitcoin in profit and loss, 40% of all the total supply is in loss, 60% is in profit. Average price of BTC in loss is 45,000 uh, US dollar. Average price of BTC in profits is 9,000. 9,000 guys, so they accumulated 9,000. Almost 93% of sellers in May were January 2021 and April 2022 buyers. They sold at a loss. And you see the percentage is sold in loss. And this is, a, I, I like this chart. So now maybe the final capitulation is not here yet because uh, we, we have to see further damages. The kind of money we are having is getting so much worse than people will ultimately reject it for a better one. So they must, they must have a current currency market, which will tell you which currency are stable in terms of each other. So I predicted Bitcoin we'll in any money for uh, yeah. 84. Do you think there's any chance so of that this? ever being adopted? And also give a like. Or will we be driven to adopt? Is crypto yes, starting a new lifetime, cycle? Paul is the bull or bear market? market? We all know crypto and blockchain are here to stay and foster more development in the next level of internet evolution and these are these cycles and they are using the SMI ergo ergodic indicator and also this uh, other percentage B indicator and uh, if uh, we are identifying this that um, you see when the new cycle is uh, beginning that uh, we see this indicator in these low levels and now we are there but also yes okay bouncing there first dipping and then bouncing yeah so we'll see if this is the next cycle that's just starting soon or we are still in the super cycle so definitely give a like this board area club nft verse over 200 million uh, 200,000 US dollars was just mistakenly sold for uh, 200 US dollars so it's funny let's go and uh, if you are finding then definitely buy it and watch this laser punk use cases guys wow crystal punks are so amazing and this lightning tower they will light so how to make generational wealth by accumulating Bitcoin at the bottom thread from Will Clemente. It's quite important thread. And also the United Arab uh, Emirates largest airline has announced plans to add Bitcoin as a payment method. So definitely important news. And also check out why Will Clemente is uh, saying that a great time to DCA heavily. Now I believe Bitcoin is very close to a multi-generational galactical pico bottom where I plan to allocate all of my tripuder for my grandchildren's grandchildren. Let me explain below. So we Clemente, I think maybe 18 years old or, or 20, not older than 20. And he is planning to creating generational wealth for uh, his grandchildren's. We are very close to realized price, which is the aggregated cost basis of investors. This currently sits at 24,000. So we almost touched the realized uh, price. Uh, with that in mind, the market price to realize uh, price ratio is very close to the green bottom zone. So price uh, to realize price is very close that we are closer to the realized price. Dormancy flow has been in the buy zone for the last few months, but it's now approaching levels that previously set generational bottoms, as you see here. And reserve risk hedging into the lower band of the buy zone, illustrating holder confidence relatively to the price. Meyer multiplier is the buy zone almost at historical lows, approaching the 200 week moving average as well. And uh, we used to bounce there as you see based on the aggregation of these metrics and price levels bottom is most likely in low mid 20,000 aligning with the th theory of uh, front running previews all-time high questions to ask yourself in two years will be buying at 
20,000 US dollar versus maybe sniping the bottom matter. Probably not, but I will try because perceived risks are either equities have a 28 type crash or also if everyone is looking at the same metrics and prices levels doesn't. So guys, definitely check out this thread. I like it. Give a like and also share this. So let's go and visit our farms. So if you are holding AST20 version of Coronex, then go to Uniswap. If you are holding Binance Smart Chain version, go to PancakeSwap. Provide some liquidity in the liquidity pools and lock up your RPs and earn up a juicy 330% APRs. So guys, let's go and check what's happening on the charts. Let's see, Cardano is doing well. So actually Cardano uh, made this cup and holder and broke uh, out uh, from this cup and holder and all, almost reached the price target so that was a nice trade that one of our community members just um, uh, made so bitcoin is getting closer to 31,000. so now what a nice movement and what a nice consolidation here touching the uh, 30,800 and these are the levels to watch um, because we are getting closer to those uh, this this will be a kind of a resistance zone here so definitely I would watch out these zones as a re resistance so this is a resistance so if Bitcoin will just break this this resistance that a nice move uh, movement to the upward that at least 30, uh, 36 and 38,000 US dollar that very likely and uh, also kind of cup and holder or similar that is forming here on the chart what else do we see so Bitcoin shorts started to decrease uh, let's see on the daily so Bitcoin shorts just halved uh, in Bitcoin shorts halved and going lower and bitcoin longs are maybe at all-time high so maybe there, there and this is on bitfinex so maybe there will be a huge huge um, shakeout of longs or these longs will be uh, longs will be a self feeling prophecy prophecy so bitcoin dominance broke this 43,000 us dollar level and uh definitely is moving up and also we have higher highs higher lows so maybe we should wait for the altcoin season and it's not coming the next level is at 47,000. it's really close and yeah so we'll see ethereum is doing well traded just around 2100 and that can be a nice reversal but also i want to look into the bitcoin weekly chart uh, let's see how the bitcoin weekly chart uh, looks like okay so the weekly chart oh is not in green is not green guys not green what the hell what's this yeah maybe that was some so the weekly chart is not green is not green okay and this is the two, three, four, five, six, sevens, uh, sevens red uh, candle on the chart. And let's adding AMA ribbons. So AMA ribbons are on the four hourly that we are crossing the AMA ribbons. So that's that's a good sign. Cool, guys. So smash those like push the bell notification or subscribe to the channel let's go and visit our farms follow me at and all our projects on twitter and definitely uh, join our telegram channel uh, you see here so join our telegram channel and then you will uh, be part of the community and also you will get all the necessary news here see you tomorrow bye bye